everyone. Um, welcome to another session of developmental psychology. Um, today we're going to talk about unit two, which is going to be chapter four, five, and six. Uh, let's um, share my screen. Okay, chapter four. Chapter four is all about prenatal development, birth, and newborn. If you would open the book in the very first page, uh, you can read the story of Michelle and Robert. Uh, they are a couple and um, they were exposed to the problem of infertility, which, as you might remember, it means like whenever you're trying to get pregnant for over 12 months, uh, but you cannot be successful. So they went to the doctor to address the problem and uh, based on the doctor, they tried to change their diet as the first step. They, they took uh, some sort of medicines even they change um, their type of garments uh, because it is important as well. And at the end of the day, I mean, I feel like this is the best solution, but yeah, they just uh, took it easy and uh, tried to be relaxed, which helped because after almost one year, um, they had a twin baby boys and they could succeed. So infertility is common. We talked about that, but there are some solutions for that as well. Before talking about uh, the solution, let's talk about conception because this is like the first step of fertility and um, having baby. On average, a woman's uh, menstrual uh, cycle is 28 days. Um, like you can see here, let me show you. Uh, it is like the period of menstruation. Uh, then we have this, peri this period, um, and right after that, on day 13, 14, and 15, we have ovulation. This is like the most probable time uh, for a woman to get pregnant. After that, we have another phase, luteal phase, um, and the cycle again begins. Um, depends on the individual and the situation that they are going through, uh, this cycle might differ from person to person. For example, if you have a stress, if you are uh, going through some crazy situation, it might affect uh, your uh, menstrual period. You might have like a longer uh, cycle or even a smaller one. It just uh, depends. Uh, but uh, the point here is ovulation is always a care right after um, getting period and uh, day 13, 14, and 15. So, Factors that can influence conception. The first time is timing. We talked about that, check. Uh, the second one is reproductive health of both partners. Um, I would say the most important partner can be women. Like in general, uh, they are the person who should be totally healthy uh, to make that happen. They should be free of any sort of reproductive uh, disorders. They should have adequate amount of hormone and they should just uh, be free of any disease. Then comes men. Um, the health of men is also important. Um, they should have adequate amount of uh, sperm and the sperm should be uh, qualified. It should have some sort of quality as well. So out of several million sperms, only 100 to 200 of the healthiest and the strongest one uh, can make it all the way. And out of those number, only one of them can penetrate um, to the oven wall and uh, fertilize the oven. Another point, I already talked about timing, but there is another point, age. Age of women is just so important. And like age 35, it's just such a critical age. Like you can see here, uh, any time before 35, we can see egg supply is okay. But like right after that, we can see we have like less supply. Um, so age of women has like more value compared to men and um, women more than 35 should be really uh, careful and do a lot of prenatal screening to just make sure their body is ready and capable enough uh, to make a healthy baby. After age 35, um, the, the possibility of having miscarriage or uh, any sort of chromosomal abnormalities 
might increase uh, because like I showed you, um, like after that age, the egg doesn't have that much supply. So basically it is more fragile. So during any sort of uh, reproduction uh, phases like mitosis or meiosis, uh, there might be some mutation which can cause to some, some sort of abnormalities like Down syndrome, uh, like any other um, genetic syndrome, like let's say even autism. So, again, there should be some prenatal screening uh, for all women, especially women above age 35. A question here is what about younger age, like teens? Uh, we all know that it is not really healthy um, to have baby in very young age. Uh, most of the time, teens, uh, they don't have any idea if uh, they are pregnant or not. So uh, there might be some inadequate prenatal care or might be substance use case, like they might consume alcohol or they might just expose themselves into uh, teratogens. So they are not really careful and all of that can uh, impact children as well. 